What's up guys, welcome back at Man Cave Reef. Uh, starting with previous video, the copper band did not make it. And um, I will not try another fish or a, uh, anything to get the uptage out. I pulled my sleeve, I got my hands in the tank, pulled every single one out of it. So for now, the topic is closed on uptage until it shows up again. Uh, this video I just want to share with you guys my problem with my pH uh, in the aquarium. It's not getting where I want it to be around 8.234 or you know like it's like it's supposed to be over 8 i ran into a product cdx helps to raise the ph in your aquarium uh, I'm gonna fill it up and we will uh, connect the exterior uh, air intake to one end and then on the bottom we're gonna connect to the, uh, the, the skimmer so the fresh air from outside will go through the media to my skimmer and we'll see if it raises the pH in the aquarium so let's get to it so let's fill the, uh, the media to the container the container is pretty cool it's plastic it has a little uh, uh, filters on the inside so the media doesn't go through and basically same thing on the other end and I did get the other uh, brass tips for the um, hose connectors but it's not gonna be in the water so it shouldn't be a problem and um, let's fill it up we'll see We're gonna go in the closet, we're gonna cut the holes, connect it, and we'll see if it does what it's supposed to do. Let's check it out. So we did connect the, uh, the media, so it goes from outside, the air goes from outside, it goes through the media, and it goes all the way to the skimmer. Uh, and we'll see uh, if it's gonna do what was advertised to do. Let's, uh, let's hope it's gonna raise the pH, and um, that will be uh, about it for today. And if you need any more information, on the product that I use for the little media container as which I use the same one for a right here a little uh, pre-filter for my calcium reactor some people don't like to use uh, filter socks which I do use but it still picks up a lot of uh, debris out of the other uh, water before it enters your calcium reactor and I used it for my GFO and carbon same thing so it doesn't have to be a big container of media or uh, canisters or anything like that. A few bucks online and DIY. Alright guys, uh, please leave a comment, like, share and let me know what you think. I'll catch you on the next one.